By 20 weeks, the cochlea, which is the organ of hearing, has reached adult size within the fully developed inner ear. From now on, the fetus will respond to a growing range of sounds. Hair begins to grow on the scalp. All skin layers and structures are present, including hair follicles and glands. By 21 to 22 weeks after fertilization, the lungs gain some ability to breathe air. This is considered the age of viability because survival outside the womb becomes possible for some fetuses. A long succession of medical advances is making it possible to sustain the lives of prematurely born infants. By 24 weeks, the eyelids reopen and the fetus exhibits a blink startle response. This reaction to sudden loud noises typically develops earlier in the female fetus. Several investigators report exposure to loud noise may adversely affect fetal health. Immediate consequences include prolonged increased heart rate, excessive fetal swallowing, and abrupt behavioral changes. Possible long-term consequences include hearing loss. The fetal respiratory rate can rise as high as 44 inhalation-exhalation cycles per minute. During the third trimester of pregnancy, rapid brain growth consumes more than 50% of the energy used by the fetus. Brain weight increases between 400 and 500%. By 26 weeks, the eyes produce tears. The pupils respond to light as early as 27 weeks. This response regulates the amount of light reaching the retina throughout life. All components required for a functioning sense of smell are operational. Studies of premature babies reveal the ability to detect odors as early as 26 weeks after fertilization. Placing a sweet substance in the amniotic fluid increases the rate of fetal swallowing. In contrast, decreased fetal swallowing follows the introduction of a bitter substance. Altered facial expressions often follow. Through a series of step-like leg motions similar to walking, the fetus performs somersaults. The fetus appears less wrinkled as additional fat deposits form beneath the skin. Fat plays a vital role in maintaining body temperature and storing energy after birth. <laughs>